My friends, in the lawless land of New York, career criminals run rampant, terrorizing innocent people. And what do the socialists and Democrats in charge do about it? Well, they, they catch and release cashless bail and laughable and insulting sentencing guidelines. Here are just some examples. Guy Rivera, a man with a felony rap sheet a mile long, is let out by Democrats and socialists, and he kills NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. Jose Ibarra, an illegal alien who had been previously arrested in New York City for abuse and endangerment of a child, was let out because, you know, New York apparently doesn't care if criminals abuse children. And what does he do? He brutally murders Lake and Riley in Georgia. But those who may be at home tinkering with guns as a hobby, well, that's when socialists throw the book at those folks in New York. And that's exactly what happened to our next guest. New York native and gun enthusiast, Dexter Taylor, joins us now along with his attorney, Vino Varghese. Gentlemen, welcome to you both. Uh, Dexter, you first. Tell us your story. Talk, talk to us about what happened to you. Yes, sir. Uh, very briefly, uh, I'm a native New, York, uh, native New Yorker. Uh, software engineer, 30-year veteran of the IT industry, squeaky clean criminal record, never any problems with the police. Some years ago, I got into gunsmithing and using legal parts I bought online. I manufactured first Glock pistols, then AR-style rifles in my basement workshop where I make all kinds of stuff, including my own furniture. In April of 2022, I was raided by a joint NYPD ATF task force. Basically, SWAT team broke my door down. Took me off to Rikers where I spent a week. My bail was almost a quarter million dollars. And now I'm on the line for 18 years if I lose my case. That's in New York City, Goodness. as you said. Goodness. Goodness. Well, my understanding is it's legal for, for people, for Americans to make their own firearms as long as they're not selling them. Counselor, is there yes, any sir. doubt in your mind that the reason why your client is being singled out is because these socialists in New York don't like the Second Amendment to the Constitution, our right of self-defense. That's what they're choosing to make, an, why they're making an example out of him, while letting career criminals out on the streets to kill NYPD officers and innocent women like Lake and Riley. Well, Chris, the problem for Dexter is that he had the audacity to exercise his Second Amendment right to bear arms, or in his case, build guns in the privacy of his home. The DA, the state of New York, the attorney general want to make an example out of him and put him away for years. The problem that they have is that his actions are legal under the Second Amendment, but New York state is thumbing its nose. They don't like the Second Amendment, and they've chosen to prosecute him and try to throw the book at him. We actually started trial today, and we picked a jury. It took us a little while to get a jury, and we started opening statements today, and already the system, the thumb, the judge is putting her, her fingers on the scales of justice by, by interrupting my opening, when not interrupting the prosecutors. I mean, it's outrageous, but the system is Reagan. Dexter's my hero for standing up for his Second Amendment rights, fighting the system and willing to take willing to sacrifice himself, go through state, go to state prison if he has to, to be able to get to federal court to challenge this in federal court. Wow. Well, you know, that's what socialists do, gentlemen, is they toss the Constitution right out the window. I've only got about 30 or 40 seconds for each of you to answer this next one. Dexter, on the Second Amendment issue, with the Democrats going pro-criminal, the socialists going pro-criminal, isn't it unconscionable that they would seek to leave innocent Americans like yourself to the mercy of that criminal element that they unleashed onto the public? Oh, sure. I mean, I, I, I'm a politically homeless conservative, so I'm for neither major party. But it is ironic, grimly ironic, that Democrats tell people like me to be afraid of murderous white supremacists but at the same time turn around and tell us that we should remain unarmed and are willing to uh, flout the Constitution to make that so. Counselor, the first example of gun control in America was white Democrats trying to disarm blacks in Correct. America. And we all right. know it. So, Counselor, is that going to come up in trial, do you think? Well, we're not. We've been precluded from arguing the Second Amendment. We can't even mention it during this case. And Dexter... Oh, I'm a, I was able to say today that he's exercising his constitutional rights and I got stopped. And so, you know, this is the problem here in New York. You have this system that's just 
are really angry and upset, and they treat this man, a great citizen, as a criminal because he's smart. He went to Stuyvesant High School, Johns Hopkins, and they can't have a guy like him that looks like him exercising his Second Amendment rights. Well, well, that's that's the way it is in New York, guys. If you're a business owner, you can't do business. Uh, so they shut down your businesses. If you want to part, if you're an American, you want to partake in your your constitutional rights. They don't do the Constitution anymore in, in New York. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate the time coming up next. Kareem.